Take a look at some new uh, statewide numbers. This is the race for governor. This is statewide right now. Uh, this is significant. We're not exactly clear where this is coming from. Early voting, 1% reporting so far. Greg Abbott with 60% of the vote. Beto O'Rourke with 40% of the vote. Uh, Abbott leads by 52,000. Just quick context on that. You know, he's led every single poll. Here's the race we were just talking about a moment ago. This too is the early vote. These are statewide numbers. Ken Paxton, the incumbent attorney general running for his third term. He's from Collin County. He is ahead by uh, 45,000 votes ahead of uh, Rochelle Garza in that race. And uh, I'm curious whether we have any for Lieutenant Governor with uh, Dan Patrick and Mike Collier here. Four years ago, this race ended up being a, a what five point race, I believe. And with uh, you know the early vote in right now, at least from part of the state, uh, there's a 17 point difference right here. Dan Patrick leading 46,000 votes here. Um, as we go, what, 21 minutes after polls have closed I, across most of the state? I don't think those are the early voting numbers because yeah. the, the total on those numbers was about 300,000, whereas the early voting numbers should be in the millions. It, yeah, it, it, just it, it Dallas was, is 402,000. Yeah, that was Dallas likely from, from, from one county reporting to the state. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I, I don't think that number is representative. The, the Normally state. what you see in a county is a dump of the early voting plus mail at one moment in time, and that's the snapshot that you get that gives you that early vote. If it's 1%, that may be 1% reporting of counties that have actually voted during the day to day, gotcha. have able to been processed. But those numbers do not include the early voting numbers that we might have. That we've been talking about.